Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do in this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I found going on in the world of Transformers, I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel, and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. This is part two to Friday's news. We obviously had the first part and we had the bonus uh, reveal, which was of course outstanding of the Rise of the Beasts trailer. So this is going to concentrate on pretty much everything but just a couple of little things of Rise of the Beasts in here, but it's not going to take up much of the news people who aren't interested will be really pleased to hear however we are going to start off with some more great news if you go into tfcon los angeles next year another confirmed voice actor is paul eading and as you can see there again great generation one voice actor he's confirmed he's the voice of perceptor and quintesson from generation one Moving on, now this is something third party and this is something that we knew was coming, but I love it and I don't know what it, I, I don't know what it is about this character that I just really, really like. This is New Age's take on, oh, forgot his name, Hauler, and this is H47G Daedalus. I think, I hope I've said that right. This is, as I say, obviously just a redeco of the mould that they've been using already. It was completely expected. It does look great. Um, I don't know what it is about this colour scheme, I don't know what it is about the character, I think the fact that it's just always was so elusive that I think that's what really entices me into really liking it. Uh, the only negative thing I think I would say is looking through the windscreen there, you can see um, there must be arm joints, I don't really know, but I'm not taking anything away from these figures, and again I will state that I can't wait to start collecting these in the near future because they just look great and of course they'll save me loads of space there's some official product image there from new age themselves just yeah looking great totally expected but he looks good okay sightings i've already done a mini video on this uh, but this is again just to confirm that we do actually have wave three now of um legacy and smiths there he is and i really hate to do this but i've got to show you there is cosmos still so people who don't always watch my shorts cosmos is reduced in the uk now he is shelf warming at the moment which it, it's nuts it really is nuts but you can see right there he is and again there is the armada voyager star scream as well so these are confirmed and these have been seen in smiths another voice actor to be confirmed this is the voice of cheetor from beast wars it's ian james call it he is confirmed as well and again, maybe in the near future when my kids grow up, not near future, in the future when my kids grow up, I, I will definitely be attending something in America. I just, I can't wait there. Your conventions just look so, so good. Don't get me wrong, TF Nation was brilliant, but I think the ones in America are just obviously on a different scale. Right, moving on to something again that's not a surprise, and I'm so glad that I didn't buy the first one, because I think this is the third. This is the New Zealand Mint, and it's lovely, and it looks great, don't get me wrong. This is their silver coin, but of course, this time they've got Megatron on it. Of course, we started off with Optimus Prime, then we had Bumblebee. So there's a bit of spiel here I've got from TFW 2005. It's the same price, so it's $99. Um, and that's worldwide shipping included, if you're interested in it. It's limited to 3,000 units. And again, don't get me wrong, I think it looks great. I think it looks really good. Everybody knows I'm a sucker for Generation 1. But I'm glad that I didn't start collecting these because I can't imagine I mean, they're going to keep bringing out. Of course, there is the late Queen. So I don't know how many more of these are going to have her on the back. There again is the coin zoomed in. And again, of course, we've got this box, which has got the brilliant Generation 1 box art on which funny enough is quite topical at the moment so i might yeah I'll, I'll drop you a little secret at the end of this video regarding g1 megatrons you've already seen the other thing i think this is the only rise of the beasts that i've got to say on this particular video yes it is you'll be pleased to know um and this is of course this a billboard already so in the uk this is a billboard that has been spotted in the uk we've obviously got the maximals and the autobot logo there but as i said i had so much teaser stuff to go through with you in the previous video but of course they went and actually did what they said they were going to do and they went and gave us the trailer now the interesting thing about this as well is there's a qr code on this poster and if you scan it it takes you to the paramount pictures uk youtube channel so um, whether or not these are going to be found all around the world i don't know because obviously the qr code link takes you to a uk youtube youtube channel however who knows right what we've also got now this is really interesting as well earth spark at the moment is well it was really big news at the moment it seems to be a little bit quiet due to obviously everything that's happening with the trailer but nickelodeon artist art cup of artisans at art station has posted some concept images i uh, got this particular part from t formers and the rest from tfw 2005 and as i say the really interesting thing about this is exactly that um these are brilliant a bit like mark lonus's insights this is insights here 
into Earth Spark. So there we've got Elita One. There we've of course got. I think they just called it. What do they call it? It's just one of the humans. Yeah, generic child. They've just called it. Um, and again, it's just it looks good, doesn't it? You can see how they've gone into all of the I suppose decisions they've had to make to make sure that it looks as good as it does. I've still yet to catch up on the episodes. Um, the first one I was really surprised with how good it is. Again, there's too much going on at the moment. I, I'm finding it really difficult at the moment to keep up. I have to hold my hand up and be honest. But there's not just bots there. There's all backgrounds, the scenery. Um, there's loads of things that they've taken into consideration right there as well. Right, there's some other things that, again, people have asked me. So I just want to, I suppose, address them straight away. I was asked direct, when are the Earth Spark figures coming out um, else, else around the world? I'm not. I can't give you the exact dates, obviously because it's different everywhere else but um if you go to let me have a look here i've got this here this is on t formers i've literally just opened this page up now it's a big bad toy toy store tf source and entertainment earth as you can see here you can pre-order these deluxe ones right now they're available for pre-order but not only that this was a story that was later updated and again you can see where i'm taking all this information from this is from t formers and again these are now these are now able to pre-order from Entertainment Earth by the looks of it. So uh, I'm sorry I can't answer completely details for everybody all around the world, but at least I can give you some information there on some of the shops that are selling them. And I believe um, In Demand and stuff like that in the UK are taking pre-orders um, as well. Now, at the moment, that's all there is with the news regards to these figures and Transformers in the meantime. Of course, if anything else drops or happens, I will let you know straight away. With regards to the channel, um, as I said, unfortunately, again, you can see what's going on. I'm changing the room. I've got poorly children. I've got loads of things going on, so I'm falling a bit behind my videos. So the, the comic won't be done uh, for the Saturday, unfortunately. However, I'm going to shove a bonus unboxing on because it did arrive. Um, but I'm not going to do it like a guessing game. Anybody who's new to the channel, I always do unboxings on a Monday and make it a bit of a guessing game. This one is too blatantly obvious. It's re it's actually harder to help you not get it. It's another Generation 1 Megatron variant uh, that I've managed to acquire. And um, it's got a brilliant box error on it that I just want to show you and share with you. So I'll do an unboxing video of that for Saturday morning. There will still be, because as I've said, the parcel has arrived, an unboxing guessing game on Monday morning. Um, and again, while I'm in the process of moving things around, you'll notice that I'm doing lots of collection showcase videos because I've emptied the bookcases, they're in boxes. So they've got, I've got a brilliant opportunity to just put a few things out. Um, figure wise, Crosscut is going to get done as soon as possible. Uh, I mentioned Red Alert as soon as possible. Um, and Bumblebee Movie Thrust. I know I've done them all in the wrong order, but it's just the way I'm getting around to doing it, as well as a few other, as I say, collection showcases. Oh, and of course, someone's asked and I need to get on with doing Windmill as well. So loads going on, loads going on in the world of Transformers. Huge thank you to everybody for all the support. Um, again, I'm still enjoying this, loving it. Absolutely great. Just meeting everybody, talking to everybody, trying to keep up with all the questions. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm answering every question I can. Um, and yeah, thank you every, everybody for the interaction, for the support and for just even listening to me ran, randomly what the, what the word, waffle on. That's the word now. Anyway, thank you very much for the support, guys. Take care. Have a good weekend.